Hello you lovely people, welcome back to my channel and what we're here for, well we're going to jump back onto uh, the Turbo CD guys um, this machine that is um, you know called so many different things, I mean it's called Super CD in Japan of course it was released as an add-on originally for the uh, PC Engine and it is known as the PC Engine CD in North America of course it was released as a shove-on unit once again, but for the Turbo Graphics 16, so it's known as the Turbo CD in uh, North America. And then, of course, they released a combi system where it had the Turbo Graphics 16 combi with the CD, and it became the uh, yeah the duo guys, the uh, yeah the Turbo duo. Um, very confusing in the end, and of course, in Japan it was known as the PC. Duo, PC Engine Duo, and oh, it gets very confusing, guys. Um, but yeah, there obviously was pictures of all of them came up there. Um, but yes, guys, we're going to jump back on it again because I want to take a look at another five titles. Uh, these are North American titles again, so it is for the Turbo CD, guys, or the Turbo Duo. Um, yeah, but these, um, obviously, they. Oh, they're, they're just fantastic, guys. It is a library that is very small, but it's very overlooked. And uh, they're absolute doozies. All five of these are fantastic in their own way. Um, one of them, mm, I don't like some of the elements to it, but I think I can learn to live with it and get used to it and probably love it just as much in the end. So there's some very interesting titles here, guys. Some big franchises. And also some proper little hidden gems, guys. Um, this is another look at this fantastic machine by the fantastic NEC. Um, as I said, termed so many different things, but I'm just going to term it Turbo CD, guys. So would you like to join me as we jump back onto this fantastic hidden gem of a system as well, guys? I mean, uh, the Turbo Duo is extremely hidden. People don't even know it exists. Even the Japanese model is very overlooked. Um, and then, of course, uh, as a, a peripheral to shove on the back of your Turbo 16 or your PC engine, they're very expensive as well, guys. And yeah, as I said, such a hidden gem of a system. But they're beautiful. And the games that are on it are fantastic, as you are about to see once again as we take a look at another five titles. So, yeah, would you like to join me? As we take a look at another five Turbo CD titles, guys. Yeah, come on in. Let's go and have a look. See you in a minute. Right, here we go, guys, with the first title, Buster Bros. Let's uh, just get in there, shall we, and have a look. There's your menu guys, one player or two player, of course it's just me on my Todd again, so it'll be one player. Very simple game this guys, very simple, just pop the balloon and it goes into multiple parts, keep popping them, it gets very bloody difficult. Now, as you can see here guys, stage one, uh, yeah, choose a city, so you've got all different points you can go to here, but we'll begin at the beginning. There you go guys, simple as that. Seen this game oh, so many times before, even on clone consoles and what have you, they've got versions of this game. Very, very simple. And then you get items come down and things like that. Like that. Just trying to avoid the walls while you oh see what I mean about it being harder than you'd think. Let them bounce for a bit. Watch out. Ah, there we go. Ah, yeah, it gets pretty damn difficult, guys. Pretty damn difficult. The more you create, the more hard it gets. Ah! <laughs> so you can get as far as that. How annoying. Right, okay. Let's play again. But it looks gorgeous, guys, again, doesn't it? Just shows you that the CD is brilliant. Oh, just when I got a weapon. 
Not fair. Not wow. Yeah, how simple and fun it is this. It's just getting those little ones, guys. It's harder, harder than it looks. Oh, I've got them. Yay. Got that one as well. Oh, a cherry. Nice one. It's basically trying to, you know, to avoid being hit by them, obviously, but then trying to keep up with getting all those little ones. Look, hey, look, we've got a power up there. That's brilliant. Can you get that one now? Yeah, that's it. Excellent. Well, hey, I actually got to the stage clear. Well, that's incredible. Right. You can see here, guys, it changes up a bit. You've got platforms there. Get rid of them or keep them. It's entirely up to you. I like having a clean kind of playing field. Oh, we've got to watch. Aha, I like this one because this one gives you extra. Oh, I'm lucky to get that little bloody enemy coming along. Right, let's leave the platform this time. Oh. Oh, it gets so hard. <laughs> hey, look, you can carry on playing from here, which is nice. Nice, nice, nice. It don't make you go back all the way to the beginning. Oh, when you want to get more bouncy, the harder to get, guys. Much harder to get. Oh, then you get that little crab who crawls across the bottom of the screen, which, of course, is very annoying. Very difficult to get rid of him. Oh, look at this, look, brilliant. Oh, that's fantastic that you can uh, get the time to stop. So, yeah, now, what the hell are you supposed to do about that then? Oh, he got me, he got me, did. And then there's a bloody bee above us. Yeah, fantastic game, guys. Absolute classic. Just very, very difficult. To be fair, it's very difficult. Oh, look at this. Oh, you sod. Go away. Oh. But yeah, absolutely fantastic, guys. Um, but yeah, it's time to move on and have a look at another title, guys. Back in a sec. Right, here we go, guys, with the same title, The Adams Family. And I'll tell you what, there's been a lot of Adams Family games, but this one is definitely superior, although, again, extremely, extremely difficult, but fantastic nonetheless. Right, here we go. That music. <laughs> How iconic. Let's see if it kicks in with a demo. I'm sure it will. Oh, instead you get a song. This is cool. Worth playing it just for this, isn't it? But it doesn't look like there's a demo kicking in, guys. So we might as well carry on, don't we? With all these sound effects going on here. Right, here we go, guys. Yeah, it's not easy being you, Tully Alfred. But that's okay. Could have been worse. Could have been an Adams. That's hard trying to live up to mother's lofty goals. Why couldn't you be more like your brother? Have you ever expect to make a living slaving over those extravagant weirdos, the Adams family? Hey, what about my goals? Oh, what's the use? 
Here I am again, just like clockwork. Too bad we couldn't do this once a year. I mean, why should I have to demean myself each and every time I set foot on this property? Tully, my boy, you seem a bit stressed these days. I'd hate to think my humble family is the cause for your duress. But I have an idea which I think you might like. If you're able to successfully find the family vault, you may take as much money as you wish. There is one catch. The family and I shall all be at home waiting patiently to... Well, let's just say to make your task a bit more difficult than one might have originally imagined. Hmm. I mean, how hard could it be to find that silly vault anyway? And what could they possibly do to me that they haven't tried before? By George, I mean, by Gomez, I'll do it. By Gomez. <laughs> Tully, my good man, how about playing a round of golf? <laughs> Ah, so we do have a demo here, guys. Ooh, have we? No, it was me, guys. What a plank. Right, okay, so yeah, you can see here. Right, basically, he's trying to avoid everything. Don't go in here. Look, I'll show you guys. Ooh, instant death. So avoid any, uh, what basically looks like uh, piss puddles. But it does look fantastic, guys. And of course, you can shoot like this. Oh, and then they get one of the bloody things again, that. Yeah, you can get rid of them like that. And then you can pick up more um, what looks like uh, jars of a piss. Oh, you bugger, get away. Yeah, it's uh, pretty damn hard, guys, to say the least. Just avoid them bottles. When you get to this bit here, and this bloody thing that's following you makes it very, very difficult. Oh, I died before I even got to the lake properly. Right, let's see if we can do this a bit quicker this time. And all those are gone. And he's back again there. Bloody sod. Get in there, yeah, that's it. Oh, oh, I left me pissed behind. Oh, get back. Yes, guys, you can see this is very, very fun. Challenging, but very fun. You can, of course, just avoid them, um, but it does get hard because they chase you, as you can see. And that bloody thing there, oh, he just keeps getting you and getting you. He's a sod and I can't seem to kill him, which is the most annoying thing. And if you stay in the water too long, or go in too often, this bloody fish thing comes up and eats you like a shark. Oh, no, they're all ganging up on me. I wish I could get rid of that stupid thing that flies around after you. But it is a fabulous, fabulous game. Very fun. That's the color of them. Oh. Oh, why can't he sod off? Oh, yes, did we get him? Did we get him? Yes, we got him. Brilliant. Got him out of the way then. Excellent. Because he was really peeing me off. Right, here we go. So try not to fall in the water too often or too long, that's for sure, because they will put in there. Oh, look, there's another one. Right, we've got rid of him because, as I say, a shark comes and gets you. I would show you, but I'd have to kill myself again for it. Perhaps it'll just happen anyway, eh? What's it got him? Yeah, can't get that bloody bug. Hey, on to another level, that's okay, can we kill him? Uh, no we can't, he's probably going to get up in a minute and chase me now. Oh yes, sods. Got him. Yeah, rats everywhere guys, rats everywhere. Then you got Uncle Fester coming and getting you, is it? Yeah, looks like him, doesn't it? Oh, he got me. Oh. <laughs> I love that bit of the end, guys, that's fantastic. But guys, it is another little doozy, isn't it? But, you know, we've got another three to look at, haven't we? So we better move on. I would have liked to have carried on playing that. It's very difficult, but fantastic. But back with the next one, guys. Now for one of my most oh, beloved 
shoot em up franchises, guys, or cute em up franchises. Yeah, cotton made its way onto this fantastic add on, or if you had the duo, guys. Right, let's have a look. You know how much I love this franchise, guys. Gorgeous, bloody franchise by Hudson Soft. And success, of course. Let's see if it kicks in with a demo. Yes, here we go. I doubt you're going to see it played a lot better than that, will. Look at all the enemies that come. <laughs> it's brutal. It's very cute. They're deceiving, guys, because it's bloody brutal, this game. This, the whole franchise is brutal, to be fair. And I love every entry. And not, every, not everybody does, but I do. I love every single entry in this franchise. And this is no exception to the rule for being fantastic. But yeah, we've got to play this thing, guys, haven't we? Wait for it to come up again. That fantastic music. Wow. Right, here we go. I have of course featured this before on my channel as part of a uh, collection but it has to be done all right here we go guys we're into the game already look you're going to see the enemies come thick and fast makes it very difficult guys very difficult indeed let's get that down there look at these buggers shooting their bloody um, bubbles Oh, they're just coming in, coming in, coming in, coming in, coming in, yes. Back over. And these bloody black things here, these are whatever they are. Whatever you might want to call them. They're horrible. Oh, it's a fantastic game, though. Fantastic. And it's so worth dying for, it really is. Oh, they got me the subs. <laughs> there we go, we're back. We're back. There we go. Let's have a look. Where they taking us here? Not bloody bit boulders as well. Probably best off just trying to avoid them, to be honest, because look, that bloody stupid face gets you. That's the one you can actually kill. You've got to stay near it, though. I don't know if you can actually possibly do that. Oh, yeah, bugger. Come on. Let's just get through that, yeah. You can shoot there, uh, you know, drop bombs as well, which is always handy. Yeah, flipping it, man, this is a cool game. Look at all these, look, wow. You see all them? Oh, and that thing, oh, you evil little sod. <laughs> Brilliant, that. Let's see if we've got a few bombs here. Yeah, I've got a great deal left, I don't think. Ah, no, you got me again, the sun. Oh, wow. You can see why I love this franchise so much, can't you? Yeah, very, very hard, but 
What a fantastic franchise. Oh, they got me right at the end there. Ooh. Right, one more time, guys. We've got to go again, haven't we? Unfortunately, back to the beginning. Yeah, let's see how far I get this time. I don't have any chance whatsoever. Can't believe you think of that, isn't it? Oh, I wanted that bloody power up. Oh, you whatever it is. Oh, you buggers. Yeah, you've got to try and get them before they get you in. There's the thing. The skeleton thing there. It's these, there's so many on that one, is not there? They are evil things. <laughs> so many of them. Oh, they got me, the swords, I couldn't seem to get them. Oh, well, never mind. Here we go. Here we go again, losing jewels left, right, and centre. Right? Well, we're back to this bit where that bloody thing is. I hit that stupid face, so don't you? Oh, they got me again. Oh. Anyway, guys, there you go. What a fantastic bloody game and a fantastic franchise. Right, back with the next one, guys. Because we ain't got long to linger. That's for sure. Yeah, I know. Give them all the bloody rubbing it in. Right, back in a minute. Right up next, guys, a very different uh, vein of game indeed. Uh, Cosmic Fantasy 2, guys. This is a fantastic, almost like Zelda-like, brilliant, brilliant um, game. RPG, whatever you want to call it. It is fantastic. Right, let's go. Fantastic. Fantastic intro. Oh, fantastic music, guys. Oh, look, 1991 Telnet in Japan. Wow. Yeah, that is fantastic music. But we need to play this thing, don't we? Here we go, guys. Yes, please. Thank you very much. Yes, we shall erase it, that's fine. <laughs> right, as you can see guys, what I said about Zelda, you also say it's a bit like Pokemon. So you just wander around the village, as usual. We shall go in a few houses and just see what's what here, shall we? Hmm, fine day. Can we nick any of your stuff? That's what we want to know. No, we can't nick any of your stuff. I haven't bloody got a lot of you. Hmm, okay then, bye bye. Right, let's have a wander around here where there's some people, shall we? Oh no, we've gone out of the village. Oh dear. Yeah, this is the other side of it, guys. As you see, you go over to other parts on the map.
This place sure brings back a lot of memories. Look, it's finished. Oh, man, this will keep us together forever, right? Yeah, Lauren, I'll protect you as long as I live. You can count on me. Really? Promise me. I want to be yours forever. I'll be your wife when we grow up. Better get your bum back to the village then, fella. Oh dear, eh? Right, we better get back over there then. What the hell has happened, eh? Oh dear, what is going on here? What happened? Hmm. Okay. Where's the smoke coming from? It's a safe village. One village, eh? Mm. I want to know what happened. But we've come back out of the village again. No, get back in there, come on. Obviously need to have a bit more of a look around here, don't we? Mm. Doesn't seem to be anything wrong though. I love that. Is that a spear? Are you just happy to see me? Cheeky. Hmm. Right, well, there didn't seem to be anything going on there, really, did there? Should we go back in one more time and have a look? What have I missed? I will right, head this way this time. Nothing seems to be going on much, does there? Will you stay the night? Well, let's see what happens if I do. Sweet dreams. Uh -huh. Good morning. Hope you had a good night. So rest. Mm. You want to save? Okay then. Yeah, that'll do. Thank you. Bye bye. What have we got here then? Yeah, I'll help you. You don't even get to go in the buildings. Look at that. Mm, dear. By what? And, uh, let's just leave, shall we? Oh no, no, what have I done? No, go away, I don't want to sell it. <sighs> okay then. No, go away. No. Thank you. Bye bye. Yeah, that, that doesn't seem to be much um, really going on, does it? Oh, that was spear, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Rude. Oh, stop it now. Go away. Leave me alone. How do we get in here? Right, okay. We've got a lot of chickens in the way now. Hmm, thank you. <laughs> Be a good boy and lend a hand. Bag. Yeah, all right. Thank you, bye. I'll bog off. I don't help you work. Well, it doesn't seem to be a fire here, does there? So, hmm. I think we better just leave again then. There doesn't seem to be anything going on. What was that all about, eh? Okay, let's go back out. Right, what we're going to do now then? Hmm. What is this? No, can't go there. Right. Is there one drop here? No, nothing there. We'll see, there will be a map somewhere, I'm pretty sure. Let's have a wonder. Ah, what is this? I did wonder. Oh, look at this. Have we gone back out again? Yes, we have. Oh, forgot to get back in. Ooh, oh dear. Let's fight them then, yeah. 
as you can see, you've got your uh, RPG elements here. Okay, what should we do now? Are they just ripping me a new one or what? Eh? Hmm, I need to get rid of them, come on. Aren't you ever going to die or what? Oh, you yes, sods. Let's get rid of them. Let's try magic. No, oh, I can't use magic. Okay then. Come on, die, you buggers. How many does it take? Leave me alone. Hmm. No, well, we're not getting much choice, guys. We have to keep going. If they ever die, we well, three of them need one. That's not fair, is it? Right, we've got rid of one. Brilliant. He's going to die soon. Come on, get off. Yeah, come on. How much has he got left? That goblin's bloody strong, isn't he? This is a bit long-winded. Well, it's still bloody fun, but yeah, there we go, we managed it. Wicked. Where are we now? Oh, we're back here again, are we? No. Oh, okay. That's very interesting. But yes, guys, I think you get the point. <laughs> There's his spear again. Yeah, you dirty boy. Right. Well, time to move on, guys, but I think you get the drift here. Couldn't figure out what the hell had actually um, gone wrong there. I couldn't see any smoke pouring out of any buildings or anything, but yeah, there you go. Healing herbs. Mm. But yes, guys, fantastic uh, Zelda-like game. Yeah, back with the next one, guys. Has he, uh, what's he going to ask me? Let's see first, shall we? Oh, for God's sake, the bloody spear again. Right next we've got a very interesting one. Uh, build as a fighting street. This is basically Street Fighter, the very first instalment. Um, Capcom's very first fighting game, guys like this, you know, um, in that franchise. And strangely, when they released it onto the TurboGrafx-16 and onto the, uh, obviously, the uh, Turbo CD... Um, they changed the name to Fighting Street, which is a uh, yeah, bit of an odd one. But it's basically Street Fighter, guys. But from playing it in the past, there's a kind of floaty mechanic to it that I can't quite get my head around. But we're going to take a look anyway, guys. Here we go. Right, let's get straight into it. One player, yes, it's only me. We shall be the UK. Right, here we go. England. Here we go, familiar name terms, of course. This is a different heading. I'm going to play this absolutely poorly because I can't get my head around the uh, mechanics of it. Okay. I just can't do it, just cannot get my head around it at all. See, so he's beating my arse already. Oh dear, this is not going well. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, you know, Capcom classic, isn't it, you know what I mean? Um, just weird that they renamed it. These floating mechanics are quite hard to get your head around, to be fair. Um, he's going to whip my backside again. Of course, I've got no chance here. I did, I'm done. I'm gonna whip, whip me a new one. 
Yes, there we go. Once again, he ripped me a new one. Dear me, eh? Yeah, go on, rub it in. So, right, here we go. You don't get any choice even to your fight or anything like that. Yeah, so I keep having to go against him and you keep beating the hell out of me. But there you go, eh? Yeah, so these force mechanics are just something else. Oh. Again. Oh, how unfair. Ooh. Yeah, not liking the mechanics on this one, guys. One little bit. Man, I'm sure I'll get used to it and it'll be a hell of a lot better. But like when, he, when he gets me, he really, really takes me bloody right. And I get him, like, oh, what the hell is that all about? And that's the first enemy. Jesus. Hmm. Go on. Keep rubbing it in. <laughs> right, one more go, guys. Again, get no choice in who you beat. Get the hell out of. So we're just gonna have to keep going here, aren't we? Hmm. I love Street Fighter. I love it, love it, love it. But I can't get my head around the uh, controls on this one or how to try, do anything really. I mean, he's, he's just completely mullering there again, no. Look, did he do oh. Yeah, whatever. This is a yeah, very floaty. Um, I can't seem to get any decent moves. This is very odd. Version of Street Fighter, or should I say Fighting Street? Then. Now, I think we're getting a bit more in there with the old punches, but um, nothing very drastic, really. Oh. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I'll tell you what, it could get really fun, I suppose. Um, yeah, but just. Uh, oh well. <laughs> I think it's time to move on, guys, isn't it? Once again, guys. Oh, Cotton. Oh, my God. What if... Oh, I mean, I, you know how much I love that franchise anyway. I love shoot 'em ups and I love cute 'em ups even more because I just love the, the, the weirdness of them, that they're so cute yet so flipping difficult. And Cotton are the kings. The, uh, the Cotton franchise is the king of cuter ups guys. I, I absolutely adore that franchise with the old witchy cotton. Um, but yeah, what about uh, Fighting Streets, guys? Um, that is the one I'm hoping I can end up learning to, to love it. That I'll just get used to those floating mechanics. Um, I find it very difficult to play at the moment, but if a bit of persistence, hopefully... I can fall in love with that game. Um, I certainly think it's it's brilliant that they, they brought over what is basically Street Fighter to the Turbo CD guys. They just rebranded it Fighting Street for some strange reason. That, that is a puzzle to me. I don't know why they did that. I mean, Capcom, you know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Capcom are, fan, are fantastic, aren't they? But that was a bit of a weird move, Capcom. Why did you do that? And then, of course, the other games, guys, they're all fabulous, aren't they? Oh, it just shows you what this flipping machine is capable of. I mean, Buster Bros. I mean, that game has been on other systems. It's had clones done of it. There's so many games that I like that. Um, even on some of the cheap knockoff Chinese handhelds that come. But it's a fantastic concept. Very, very simplistic, but very hard. Um, and it looks stunning on the turbo cd guys it looks stunning absolutely stunning so yeah i mean five fantastic titles again guys for these these i say these because you know all of these games had their japanese release as well of course uh, so you've got to look at it from from both countries haven't you really you got to look at it from north america and of course um japan and of course it did have a presence as tiny as it was it did have a presence here 
in Europe, guys. Um, probably even less more less so than the uh, PC engine, but it had a presence, you know, or the Turbo Graphics 16. Oh my God, it, it was just so badly managed the European launch. I mean, it literally had absolutely zero bloody advertising. I do believe you could only get it in mail order. Um, oh, what a bloody shame. It could have been so much more. And, you know, obviously the uh, the Turbo CD would have been so much more successful here as well. But then, of course, would it have? Because it never really, really hit a market in North America. So... Who knows, eh? I guess we'll never know because we can't jump in a time machine and go and correct the advertising, can we? But yeah, if if it would have been advertised in North America and Europe more, I'm sure it would have been absolutely stellar. I think it would have had a runaway success, but they just didn't. They didn't pump it enough, guys, and it's such a shame. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed those five titles. Please comment below. What did you think? Um, you know, would you even consider picking up a, uh, if you've got a Turbo Graphics 16, would you consider picking up a Turbo CD? Or if you have a PC Engine, would you consider picking up a PC Engine CD? Oh, I, I give up with naming them, guys. I give up. Um, but yeah, would you contemplate it? I mean, they're very expensive. Mm, you have to have deep pockets again, guys. But would you consider it? You know, you can buy them faulty, uh, do a little bit of a repair job on them. And very often, guys, it's just something simple. Very, very simple, like the blinking a band has gone or, you know, oh, and you can just get a new replacement one. You know, there's a hell of a lot of CD, you know, parts out there that would work on different CD units. I'm not sure with this one because I've, I've never attempted to replace a band on one, um, but I'm sure there is other units out there other cd players and i mean where you could take that band off maybe and put it on because very often the drive goes that way the band just snaps um so yeah it could be a simple simple thing uh if you have a little bit of soldering skills sometimes it just takes a little bit of soldering re-soldering um so it might be worth picking up a faulty one and having a go at it but as i say deep pockets guys to buy a working and if you want one boxed well crazy money guys for that but yeah would you contemplate collecting for it because i tell you what we could do a lot worse um obviously even the even the software is quite pricey these days you might always want to get yourself a rom and an emulator and try that first before you spend out that money guys but yeah let me know as i said what you think of these games are you enjoying these videos would you like me to do more on the turbo cd or uh, you know when we get into the japanese ones obviously the uh, pc engine cd uh yeah let me know let me know what you want. And with that, guys, I'm going to do the usuals. I'm going to sell. I'm going to sell videos. Then no, I'm not. I'm jumping the gun again, guys. Oh, slap it. Slap, slap, slap. It's the call getting to my brain. That's what it is. If you're not subbed already, please drop me a sub. Give me a thumbs up. Tap that bell icon and the all icon to get the notifications, guys. And with that, I am really going to say, well, videos then. Cheers and goodbye, guys. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.